in this video we have been given that ae is equal to bf and cd is 40 and angle cdf is theta angle bef is 2 theta and angle aed is 4 theta then we have to find shaded area so in a b c d this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree so this angle it will be also 90 degree that means a b c d it will be rectangle so a b it will be parallel to c d so here we have a e and d c are parallel and this angle is 4 theta so this angle it will be also 4 theta and we have angle c d f is theta so this angle it will be 4 theta minus theta that will be 3 theta it will be 3 theta and now in a b c d this point is f and this angle is 2 theta this point is e and this angle is theta so from point f if we draw a line that is parallel to a b and c d then this angle is theta so this angle it will be also theta and this angle is 2 theta so this angle it will be also 2 theta so this angle it will be theta plus 2 theta that will be 3 theta it is 3 theta and now interangle DEF it is D E F these two angles are equal that is 3 theta so D E it will be equal to E F D E it will be equal to E F and now interangle D A E and triangle E B F we have angle DAE is equal to angle EBF that is 90 degree and AE is equal to BF that is given and we get DE is equal to EF so triangle DAE it will be congruent to triangle EBF 
by RHS congruency R means right angle H means hypotenuse and S means side and these two triangles are congruent hence angle AED it will be equal to angle BFE and angle AED it is 4 theta so angle BFE it will be also 4 theta and now interangle EBF it is E B F this angle is 2 theta this angle is 4 theta and this angle is 90 degree so 2 theta plus 4 theta plus 90 degree it will be 180 degree so we get 6 theta is 180 degree minus 90 degree and 6 theta is 90 degree so theta it will be 15 degree so theta it is 15 degree and 3 theta it will be 45 degree 3 theta it will be 45 degree and now interangle DCF it is D C F this angle is 90 degree this angle is 15 degree and DC is 40 so cos 15 degree it will be DC by DF so we get cos 15 degree is DC is 40 by DF so df it will be 40 by cos 15 degree df it is 40 by cos 15 degree and now interangle D E F it is D E F this angle is 45 degree this angle is 45 degree so this angle it will be 90 degree and we have D F is 40 by cos 15 degree and in any right angle triangle if these two angles are 45 degree and hypotenuse is a then this side it will be a cos 45 degree that will be a by a square root of 2 and this side it will be a sine 45 degree that will be a by a square root of 2 so here ef it will be 40 by cos 15 degree times 1 by a square root of 2 
that will be 20 times a square root of 2 by cos 15 degree so ed it will be also 20 times a square root of 2 by cos 15 degree and now area of def it will be 1 by 2 times base is ef times height is de and it is 1 by 2 times ef is 20 times a square root of 2 by cos 15 degree times de is 20 times a square root of 2 by cos 15 degree and a square root of 2 times a square root of 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So it is 20 times 20 by cos 15 degree times cos 15 degree and it will be 400 by cos square 15 degree and now we know that cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta minus 1 so 2 cos square theta it will be cos 2 theta plus 1 and cos square theta it will be cos 2 theta plus 1 by 2 so cos square 15 degree it will be cos 30 degree plus 1 by 2 and cos 30 degree it is a square root of 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and it will be equal to a square root of 3 plus 2 by 2 times 2 will be 4. So, it is 400 by cos square 15 degree, it is a square root of 3 plus 2 by 4 and it is equal to 400 times 4 will be 1600 by 2 plus a square root of 3. And if we multiply it with 2 minus a square root of 3 by 2 minus a square root of 3, then it will be equal to 1600 times 2 minus a square root of 3 by, and we know that a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square. So this will be 2 square minus a square root of 3 square. So it is 1600 times 2 minus a square root of 3 by 4 minus 3. That will be 1600 times 2 minus a square root of 3. So shaded area it is 1600 times 2 minus a square root of 3 